We begin with an update tonight on a lawsuit against Oklahoma's Department of Corrections and its leader alleging human rights violations. That case has now been moved to federal court. We're also hearing from a former prison guard tonight who says some of the allegations are nothing new. Inmates at the Great Plains Correctional Facility in Hinton locked in shower stalls for days and nights on end. The inhumane and deplorable conditions described in detail in a lawsuit filed by seven inmates. Attorneys say it became routine for any inmate who spoke up about overcrowded and dangerous eight man cells. They didn't like people complaining and so the solution was to lock them in this uh, makeshift solitary confinement three by three foot shower stalls. Richard Labarth and Alexei Tarasov will now make their case in federal court. They call it a very good development considering this case involves civil rights violations. Uh, specifically uh, the confinement, the physical proximity to human waste, uh, the absence of uh, food and water. Um, these are just gross violations of human dignity. I am surprised that this behavior still goes on. Former Oklahoma Department of Corrections employee Kenneth Buck reached out to Fox 25 after our first report on the lawsuit. He also saw shower cells being used due to a lack of prison beds as far back as 1998. But it was another practice he took part in at Joseph Harp called dry holding that still haunts him. It started with stripping inmates down and doing cavity searches as punishment. No matter mattress, a steel bunk, no pillow, no linen, no blanket, no toilet paper, and no water. If you need a drink of water, tough. Buck says he left ODOC in 2000 after rising to the rank of sergeant. Here, was there anybody saying, hey, this is wrong, we shouldn't be doing this? If you wanted to stay on good graces with management, you kept your mouth shut and went with the flow. As we believe that there are deep and very concerning uh, endemic problems with the DOC and how they're doing business and how dangerous it's becoming, not just for inmates, but for uh, the corrections officers. Attorneys point to several recent violent incidents inside Oklahoma prisons, including what they describe as a mini riot in Lawton May 10th. That ended with two inmates dead and several others injured, including a corrections officer. ODOC called it a group disturbance, not a riot caused by human error. We're confident that they are, I don't know if they're cooking the books, but they are understating the ratios to make it appear as though it's not as dangerous as it is. Now that their lawsuit is in federal court, attorneys say the case could grow much broader and reveal much bigger issues, all stemming from overcrowded and understaffed facilities made worse by institutional incompetence. But their focus now remains on getting justice for the seven inmates who they say suffered significantly from inhumane conditions and making sure it can never happen again. So the best possible outcome for our clients in this case is that they be compensated for the injuries that they sustained. Attorney General Gettner Drummond's office is defending the Department of Corrections in this case. They have filed a motion to dismiss, but attorneys for the plaintiffs tell me they're confident this case will move forward. Last October, we asked Executive Director Steve Harp at DOC about these allegations. He called it a challenge that they have since corrected, and he denied any human rights violations.